Hello everybody, we are with Fiberscope.net today and uh, we have our Miniflex plumbing camera with us and this video will be a dedicated quick start manual to give you a rough idea on how to use the unit uh, so you can get the unit, watch this video and be off inspecting. So from the start, once we get the unit, um, we can use it in two positions. We can use it in uh, this leveled up position it has this special bracket or we can take the bracket off and use it like this so it's up to you um, to your application and environment in this case we will be using it with a bracket so the next two steps are very important we take the camera head everything is connected here you don't have to screw on the camera head um, as in other cameras, for example, you have to screw a camera head, no, but not in this case. With the Miniflex, everything is connected. So two steps that you have to follow is put on a sewer skid if you need. For example, you're going into a four inch pipe, then you will put a sewer skid on. And the next step is to grease the neck. So some cameras have spring metal necks. Uh, that connect the cable and the camera head. But in case with uh, Miniflex, we have a rubber neck. So with the plumber's grease or Vaseline that is supplied with the unit, you have to go over the unit and uh, grease these parts. Basically, where the cable connects to the rubber neck, grease that part. And where the rubber neck connects to the camera head, grease that part and then just go over with a, sli a, sli a small layer of grease. So this grease will help the unit, or not the unit, but the camera head to go into these sharper bends and pass them. So I'll show you right away how to uh, grease the camera head and put on the sewer skid. So all these accessories are in this compartment here. Just a small, uh, bag of accessories we have the plumber's grease or Vaseline we have the two sewer skids we have a quick start guide we have a SD card adapter and then the tool to remove the camera head okay so the first step that I mentioned we have to put the sewer skid on with the Miniflex, we have two skids. It's a bigger skid and a smaller skid. So for example, if you're going to a four inch pipe, you would rather put on a skid. So in order to put on a skid, we have the O-ring here that keeps these two parts together. So we have to take off the O-ring and then take out one of the parts, slide in the camera head like this, and then put on this uh, the second part there and roll the o-ring over now it's snug and tight there's no problem so um, the good thing about this camera skid when you have it on for example if you're inspecting different sites you don't have to put it off or remove it every time so there's enough space in the slot here so it has no problem. To remove this kid, you do just pry it open and then slide the O-ring out like this. So better to put more pressure on the sewer skid like on the O-ring than on the camera head. So be very careful. It's better to break the O-ring and just replace it. Uh, it's much cheaper than scratching the camera head and then replacing the camera head. Okay, so the next step is to uh, put on a plumber's grease, or in this case, a Vaseline. This is supplied with the unit, so it's in the accessories box or the accessories bags. You put on the Vaseline um, on this part here, where the cable connects to the, cam to the uh, rubber neck, and on this part where the rubber neck connects to the camera head and all over the place. So basically, I'll just use this plumber's grease we put on this connection here 
we put on this connection and then just go over the whole thing just be careful not to put in the lens so you don't block the way so this uh, will help the camera head when you go into tight pipes it will help it to uh, make the bends much smoother and easier okay so we got the uh, unit greased we got the sewer skid on if needed next step is to par on the unit just pressing the par button the unit will just boot up and show the picture right away so we are in a pipe right now so to put on the illumination we press this button we have the graph here showing on the intensity light intensity and to lower it down same thing so once you're in a pipe you're in inspecting you want to take a picture you just press this capture button and the picture is taken need another picture take the capture button and then picture is taken if you want to record a video press the video button and then uh, continue the inspection if you want to pause the recording press again that this, the same button it will pause the recording it will not stop the recording and if you want to continue press again and then you can continue the inspection to stop the recording just press this stop button and it stops the uh, recording so as you see here we have the meter counter here it's showing right now um, zero feet four inches so if we go out it will show me six eight ten one foot one point two one point six so for example if you are in a pipe and you detect something and uh, you want to measure from the, the uh, from the blockage to the entrance pipe entrance and so you just press this button it puts the counter to zero and uh, it starts counting from there or for example you are an, on a new site and uh, you are putting the camera head into the pipe and uh, the monitor shows you one foot so it's off you've just pressed this button it goes to zero zero uh, levels out and then you can start inspecting and the counter will be correct so the miniflex has a wonderful feature it can overlay a text that um, shows on the recording once you press record so for example if you're inspecting in a certain house certain pipe you just input the characters here and then you can uh, recognize which recording was made in which house, uh, which street, and which pipe. So, how to put on the text on the Miniflex? All you have to do is slide the um, touch screen and then just select the free text. And then you can um, input whatever text you, you need. So, just a basic keyboard. Uh, free text be here go back go back and then you have the text here so once you hit recording it will show on the recording to take the text away just slide the uh, touch screen and then select free text it will change uh, the color to white again go back and then uh, the image the screen is clear if you want to locate the camera head, the camera head has a 512 Hz sound integrated into the camera head. So, for example, you are in the pipe and you start, you want to start locating. You just press this uh, button here. It's like an antenna button. Press once, it will light up, uh, light up orange, and then you'll have the fuzzy picture. You will still see the picture, so you can still see the picture, but you'll have these lines go over. So we have the locator here, I'll just show that the, I'll just show that the zond is on. For example, if you are in a deep pipe and you feel the zond is too weak, uh, then you can put on the high power zond feature. So to do that, you just go back to your normal picture and then press and hold the zond button and it goes to high power and this will um, put all the energy I think 
into the zond and then it will make a st much stronger signal uh, that help will help you to locate it if it's deep under, for example, in brown or in concrete. So if your unit is low on battery, you just take this, open this compartment here, it shows battery here, take out the uh, charger, uh, plug it into the AC port, and then connect the two wires, uh, two ports together, and this will charge your mini flex. So on the mini flex, we have a small brake here that um, controls how fast the reel unscrews the cable. So for example, if you are feeding the cable down the pipe, you're feeding down the pipe, and you feel as if the reel is going too fast, like it's just unspooling the cable. You just take this and then um, move this brake toward the plus sign. This will tighten up the reel, so it'll have much harder time, as you see here, to spool out the cable. If it's going too hard, you just um, turn it toward the minus sign, and this will um, increase the speed of the unspooling cable. Um, this is how you would uh, control the cable.